I'm naked. Hold on, I'm naked. Can't hear it? Alright, cool. Well, I turned it off anyway. Alright, boys. Hey, so here we are, right here. This this stuff right here, boys. Hey, you want another tutorial? Here it is. Literally, this spot right here that you see these people at, they're they're trying. They're trying to catch tiger muskie, alright? And uh, yesterday I had, actually, it's probably still in my, let's look, let's look if they're still in my stringer. I think they are. Let's see. Let's see what I got. All right. All right. Where is it? So, yeah, unique tiger musky, unique musky, and a unique clear musky. I literally got a trifecta on a sunny day. All right. Sunny days are the days for musky. I'm telling you, boys. I literally got a unique tiger musky, a unique regular musky, and a unique clear musky literally like you can't eat like it's right there for you so in order to uh catch them i actually have a little thing here that I, that you guys can check out real quick um th these are the times for all of them but i'll individualize each of the spots so i'm going to clip this one then i'm gonna go to the next spot clip that just so that they're a little bit shorter um but so this spot is the tiger musky spot so you can see if it's a sunny day it's 8 a.m to 9 a.m um, if it's cloudy, it's 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And if it's partly cloudy, it's 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. That's the tiger musky time period for, for catching uniques. Um, this is what I use. This setup is actually what I use for every single one of the species that I caught. Same depth and everything. It's a large minnow, 8 out hook um, with um, 47 inches deep so and like i said it, i'd never changed it and was able to hook up in a single day catch all three um so 47 inches large minnow a dot and i have i think a 32 pound setup um like my line is 32 pounds which is my weakest point and then my rod and reel can handle just a little bit more than that but it's a 32 pound setup um but yeah, so basically what you do, you can see there's a rock here that you can kind of use as a general guide. Um, and that's what he's doing straight out from this rock right here. Walk to the shore and you can see there, there are two little patches of weeds. And I believe you can catch them anywhere along there really. But the spot that I caught it, you can see where I marked it, is literally right there. So I think it's about, if I remember right, it's about a hundred and some, oh, that's going to be bad. It's about a hundred and some feet out from shore. So I'll, I'll double check it for you guys so you know. And it just has to be general. It doesn't have to be perfectly in that spot because it's going to float around and move. Yeah, so see that's 96. So you can even back reel a, a little bit to about 100, 102. Give him some slack so he just kind of swims around out there until he gets bit. Um, but yeah, that's the tiger musky spot. And that's all you need to know to really catch him. Just make sure you cast out there about 100 feet or so um, on an dot with uh, large minnows, 47 inches deep. And uh, yeah, that's, it's literally that easy. Make sure though, like I said, the times are important. And uh, again, the times are if it's sunny, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. If it's cloudy, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And uh, partly cloudy is 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. All right. And uh, yeah, that's all you need to know, boys. Good luck.